Hello, I'm Liam Bailey, and this is It's Not The Same. Where does the time go? Where will it be? Better turn my mobile off. <laughs> turn my mobile off. Well, I've got two messages. I've not heard them. Nancy, it's my manager. She knows I'm doing this. It's Liam Bailey. It's not the same. Where does the time go? Where will it be? Seems like we're walking down this road through my mind. Not the same when the years go in by. It's not the same when it's tears in your eyes. It's not the same when a boy's got no hope. Wind and the rain said it shut you down to go. The same. Oh, oh, oh. Shouldn't have left you, darling. I know that now. Seems like the only road I take is the way down. Oh, I. track is It's Not The Same, performed in the Beat Studio by Liam Bailey. Liam, welcome to the Beat. Hello, sir. Sounding very good on form there. Thank you. Tell us about the track that we just heard there. Uh, wrote it... It was one of the first songs I wrote um, that I was completely happy with. Um, and I suppose it's kind of a... It's, it's, a, 
it was it was really easy. I wrote it. It's the quickest song I've ever written. Um, and my blessed friend Chris McDonald chucked a couple of chords in at the end of it, so put the icing on the cake. It's got a fantastic groove to it. Yeah, and thank you. Now you're signed to Polydor. I am, yes. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Because it's a great label anyway, but to find somebody from our area that's signed to it is, yes, is, 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 is terrific. So how yeah. did all that happen? Uh, they heard about me because uh, I moved to London a few years back and um, and I uh, a, a manager got in contact with me, who is now my management, and, um, and uh, put me in contact with this studio and I worked there and then went to New York that was where the studio was and then um, people just found out and before I knew it there was uh, I went from nowhere to live um, no girlfriend, no money and then all of a sudden there's like four record labels wanting to sign me and then it came back that way so So it's one of the, the proverbial bidding wars that we hear about I suppose you could call it that but I ducked I, I ducked it out of it really mate I mean once you've been for a few dinners <laughs> in a posh restaurant you hear the same thing so I went I tried to just keep it on character really and Polydor uh, apparently you know they're a really strong label and so uh, and oh well oh, as soon as I found out Jimi Hendrix and Paul Weller were on yeah. there I was happy enough so that's alright that's not a bad company to be in exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. and Ian Brown as well yes yeah. are these all, all heroes of yours are they yes me I met Ian Brown uh, about a year and a half two years ago and I can't tell you the feeling was insane uh, we was in shall I tell yeah, well, we yeah, was in, um, basically, we, I was going to New York again, I think, and, um, and I was in WH Smith, and I just picked up um, Uncut magazine because there was a Stone Roses article, and uh, I saw saw this guy, and he'd got about four cream eggs in his pocket, in his hand, and I was like, that's Ian Brown. So I walked up to him, and was like, it's Ian Brown, innit? He was going, yeah, man, you all right? How are you? I was like, wicked, mate. I was at the Uncle gig last night when you came on. You're a legend. He's going, oh, cheers, man. I was like, I'm on the same label as you. He's going, oh, wicked, the nice guy's down there. And then talking and uh, asked him if the rumour was true that the only reason he started singing was because of, uh, what's his name, Washington, the soul legend. Gino? Yeah, he came to Manchester and heard him sing. Said he looked dead cool and he should start singing, and he confirmed it. Yeah, he was he was top. He was spot on, man, spot on. Yeah, he's he's an absolute legend. Yeah. And while we're on the subject of legends, let's bring it local. Shall we talk about First Blood? First Blood, deep not dark. It's a lot with the melody. Um, Pete is a dear dear friend of mine. I've known him for seven eight years. Met him in uh, domestic in general. Is it still that or is it Inkfish or something now? And. Uh, and um, so, yeah, we uh, spent, we've written, made a lot of music together. Um, and uh, he's, he's also one of my inspirations um, to just keep on, man. I, I think that the close knit of strong friends I have in Nottingham, we all kind of keep each other ticking over when it comes to creativity. So, and Pete's a great, great guy. So, yeah. We were always causing trouble anyway. They, I think they said that the album's coming out in August. I'd heard that, yeah. Um, and they want It's Not the Same to be a single. Uh, they want uh, they've another song called You Better Leave Me. Um, I did. Uh, there's another song called Sick of Love, which I believe might be on the cards. So, um, yeah, I mean, they, as far as I'm aware, they do what they do really well. So hopefully they're going to put it out there and not leave it in the, on the shelf. I don't think they are, because everybody I've met there is seems to be really excited. Mm. There's a bloke from Nottingham working on the radio side That's of right. things there. Yeah. And the, the woman you know. Nikki, and yeah. so I want them all to... I just want it to happen, man, you know what I mean? Do you know what? I really think it's going to. Yeah. I really do, and the sooner the better. All right, Liam Bailey, a pleasure to see you tonight. Thanks, Richard, for calling in. Wicked. Cheers, man.